Hello everybody, my name is Tommy and here's Glamrock Freddy. We've reached 400,000 subscribers and I'm going to show you how you can build this. Now, if you want to learn how to make the moving head and the invisible uh, mechanics here as well as the stomach catch and the magnetic eyes, that's what you learned on the Puppet Master Academy. Just right up there, click up there if you want to join the Academy. Alright, so without further ado, we're going to be celebrating 400,000 subscribers by learning how to build this one. Glam Rock Freddy. So enjoy the show. Let's pop it. Woohoohoo! Welcome to Tommy's Puppet Lab. Remember to subscribe and hit that bell icon. This video is brought to you by Puppet Master Academy. Puppet making just got better. See you there. So for this tutorial, you will be needing one of these. A life-size puppet base. Now I do have a free video on that. Please see the link in the description below if you want to build yourself a life-size puppet base. And let me just scroll down. I'll show you what it looks like here. Now this model here, this model here is from the Puppet Master Academy. So you got a moving head and a hidden pull string here so that you can make it talk. And as well, it, you want to learn how to make the magnetic eyes and the stomach hatch that's also on the Academy. So please, you can check it out right there and you can learn all that stuff from here. But I will show you, there is a pull string tutorial and there is a magnet tutorial all for free. Please see the link in the description below. All right, so let's get started. So let's get our head base, I mean our life size base, and let's get crafting. Now, if you don't have a life size base, I also offer this on my academy, how to build a half body one. One of my students actually put this in the booth like I did with Lefty, Glam Rock Freddy. It's really cool. So shout out to Liam, my student, and I thought that was just so cool. So you can go either uh, a full body with the legs or just half body. And this is something that I teach on the Academy. Glam Rock Freddy coming right up. Okay, so we're gonna start by working on the body. So Glam Rock Freddy has a rather buff and burly type body. So we need to puff up his chest a little bit. And I'm gonna do that by wrapping newspaper around the top of the body base. Okay, so once that is completely covered and you are satisfied with the shape of the body, go ahead and cover it in paper mache. I'm using one part glue and water solution again. And use toilet paper or tissue, whatever you have access to, but toilet paper works really good. Also, you might notice something different about the body. I actually used leftover wrapping paper that's what I did. This is wrapping paper and it works great for this. Let's make the claws next. To make the claws, I'm actually using a uh, mashed paper or paper shavings from when I was smoothing. You take that and you mix it with a little bit of that glue solution. And you should be able to just crunch some claw shapes right on the tips of each finger. For the toes, you are definitely going to need a newspaper ball. And then you're gonna crumble five more for a total of six. And let's glue them on. You'll need three of them on each foot. So three toes on each foot is what you will need at the end. And once again, more paper mache magic. Uh, 
Okay, so this is what you should have right now. So you should have all the arm pieces. You should have the head ready. If not, well then keep working on the head. And you should have the body completely shaped officially. And of course the feet should also be modified at this point. All right, so let's keep crafting. And now don't forget to put the claws on the toes as well. Just like we did with the hands. Because, you know, Glamrock Freddy is a bear. And bears have claws, as everybody should know. So don't forget to put the claws on the feet as well. Okay, so it's now it's time to start making the big shoulder plates. So we're going to be drawing some large half ovals on a sheet of cardboard. We'll be needing two of them. Okay, so it turns out that the half moon shape will work better than uh, what I had before. So let's use that. So we're going to glue it on each side where the shoulder should be at the top. Don't forget about Glamrock Freddy's arm bracelets. Aha! So we're going to cut two strips of cardboard and we're going to wrap them around the lower arms. Not the upper arms, but the lower arms. Okay, so let's decorate the arm bracelet. So I'm going to cut out some tiny circles and I'm going to glue them all around the bracelet. And then I'm going to cover it in paper mache. Okay, so I right, right now is looking for the colors. So Glam Rock Freddy, kind of an orange an orangey brown. That is being called it a weird uh, So this I got these two colors here. I'm just gonna go with the red color. Um, what is it you're trying to do? Trying to uh, I want to trim some of those and cover. Now I have a red color. I'm just trying to think, you know, for the uh, lightning bolt, I wouldn't mind neon, to be honest. I'd like to know something that will respond under a black light. Okay, so these are the main colors I'm going to pick. So we're going to go get these mixed up here. And this is where I get all my paint mixing sticks. Add some of them. Okay, so let's start painting. It would check, yeah, because this mask is not responded at all, but this would definitely stand out. So we're just going to use the blue. I also have the red as well. Ooh, yeah, that's going to look nice. Sweet. We're going to be giving this a black light theme.
And there he is, everybody, all finished. This is what you should have. So I use neon glow paint for the face and uh, the lightning bolt. And I hope you got a lot out of it and you can make your own Clam Rock Freddy. So again, please be sure to join the Academy if you want to learn how to make the stomach hatch, the magnetic eyes, and as well as the unique mechanics where he can talk on his own. That's really cool. All right, thank you so much for 400,000 subscribers. I'm really, that is a really big deal. Now we are officially on the road to half a million. Let's get there. All right, and don't forget to check out my Instagram, my Twitch, and my TikTok. All right, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. And hit that subscribe button. <laughs>